Welcome friends, in this video I will be showing you to create a data validation dependent on the one of the selection made in another columns. So now I have a basic data way which I need to include as part of a data validation. So here we have a COSO components and we have a COSO principles. These COSO principles are subcategory based on the COSO components selected. So I just have a unique list of the COSO component over here and this list I will be using as a data validation over here. So let us select all the cells over here where I need to include a data validation. Click on data validation, then go to list, click this icon and select this entire stuff. Click OK. OK. Now you can see that I have only the five options over here being displayed for the COSO component. Now the COSO principles as a drop down menu which I want to display over here, it should be dependent on the sample items which I have selected in a COSO component. So as of now, if you see a control activities I have selected over here. So in the second column, it should only show me the options which are being displayed as part of this, which are this six of them. So it should be showing only the options which I have selected over here based if I select the another option as a risk assessment, it should show me only this particular options in the second columns over here. So let us start selecting this first cell over here and there are certain formulas which we will need to create. So let us start creating a match formula over here. So I am selecting this as a first cell. Then in the lookup array, select this range, press F4 and close it. So this match function will give me a position of this particular selection which I have made in this particular list and we will be using that result as part of our choose formula. So let us type choose, press tab, then press end. Okay. Now if I select, if something comes as a result as a one, which means if I've selected a control environment, it should show me only this particular range. So let us select that and press F4. So if I select risk assessment, it should show me only this option. So here, so let us select that and press F4. Same way for other three of them, select them, press F4, select them, press F4 and the last one, select this final range and press F4, click OK. As of now, it will give an error, so don't worry about it, press enter. So now if you see, it has given an error, so let us press F2 and copy this entire formula, control X and press enter. Now select this entire range and go back to your data validation within this select list okay and paste that formula which you have copied instead okay so now if you see i have selected risk assessment over here and if i see the options drop down it is just showing me the options which are available in the risk assessment so now if i change something go here as a part of information and communication it will show me only this four options over here, information classification. So thank you for watching the video.